Dr. G, thank you for entrusting the seat to me on this Monday. It's uh, five minutes after the hour. Thanks for being with us. I'm live in Cleveland, Ohio. The Relief Factor.com studios of AM 1420, The Answer. Find me there uh, from 9 to noon Eastern Time, Monday through Friday, at WHKRadio.com. WHK Radio, it's a phenomenal Salem affiliate here in Cleveland, Ohio. You can find me on Truth Social on Instagram and on Facebook at Always Right Radio altogether. You can also find me on Twitter at France Rants, F-R-A-N-T-Z, R-A-N-T-Z. And I certainly appreciate you uh, being with us for America First. Coming up, we're going to talk in about uh, 15 minutes or so with uh, Robert Spencer. Robert Spencer, if you don't know, he's the founder of JihadWatch.com. Very few people have a better understanding of what's going on in the Middle East and how it impacts us here in the United States. Very few people uh, better than Robert Spencer. Uh, he understands what jihad really means. He understands what the global caliphate is all about. He understands what the Muslim Brotherhood is. He understands the role of Hamas in that larger picture and why it is so crucial that we understand that the collateral damage that everybody is so worried about in Gaza is something we should not really concern ourselves with. There's only two types of people in Gaza that are quote-unquote Palestinian. There are Hamas terrorists, and then there are future Hamas terrorists. At the end of the day, that is a realistic point of view. How? Why? That's, that's so bigoted. That's so, that's so unfair. That's so uh, judgmental. France, what are you saying? Well, if you have not seen some of the videos, the most recent person to post them on Twitter is James Woods, conservative, uh, Hollywood star, uh, one of the very few who are out and, and loud, loud and proud about being conservative. James Woods is the latest to post videos of just some very, very disturbing things. Remember, when it comes to Israel's response to the barbaric October 7th attacks uh, launched by Hamas, Israel's response is supposed to be you know, a little bit controlled. We got to make sure that we don't go, don't go too far. We have to have a proportional response to the damage that they did, which of course is absurd. And the reason for this call for proportionality is we don't want to harm the innocent civilians of Gaza who have nothing to do with this, right? These videos will turn your stomach. Videos like the one that, that James Woods just, he didn't create it, but it was just posted uh, yesterday. Um, show the reality of what the Palestinian civilians are. I am watching trucks being driven by Hamas members, pickup trucks, the backs of which, the beds of which, are filled with the bodies of dead Jewish citizens, Jewish Israeli citizens, or Israeli Jews, is a better way to say it. Most of them females. They're parading them through the streets in Gaza, through the crowds, and what do you think the crowds are doing? Are they standing there with their jaws on their chests, mouths agape at, at, the, at the sight of such horrors and brutality? And, oh my gosh, I can't believe they did this. If they were like that, I might be a little bit more sympathetic to the problem if they end up being used as human shields by Hamas. But they're not like that. What the video shows is... Palestinian quote-unquote civilians jumping on the sides of those trucks as they roll by so that they can reach into the beds of the truck to punch and strike the dead bodies of the murdered Jews that, that Hamas just, just, just killed, desecrating them. I'm looking at them right now. They're beating one of them with a, with a two-by-four uh, others are reaching in and punching with their fists the dead bodies. They're swinging clubs. The, the bodies are dead. This Hamas killed them. Palestinians celebrated it and joined in with the desecration of the bodies. Bars, pipes, poles, uh, two-by-fours, fists, everything they can. I bring this up because it must be understood. There can be no ceasefire. The only thing that can happen when it comes to this war, and it is that, and there are casualties in war, the only thing that can happen, my friends, is the opposite of ceasefire. And that would be commence fire. 
The opposite of ceasing something, which is to stop it, is to begin something, which is to commence with it. More fire. Not cease fire, more fire. Because they have made this clear, if nothing else has been made clear. They will not stop. And I'm talking about Palestinians, I'm talking about Hamas, I'm talking about those that truly believe from the river to the sea. Those that truly believe that, that the entirety of that land must be swept clean of Jews and renamed Palestine. That's